How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on the channel. Hope you guys have a good night's sleep, a good morning as well. It is Sunday today and the team of the year reviews, they keep on flowing. Today we're going to start with Kylian Mbappe, team of the year. I'm excited for this one because Mbappe is always one of those dynamic players on the game. But what I'm looking for in this review is something different to his normal, right? Like a vast improvement. Which, I've got to say, after using the card and stuff like that, you still kind of get the same things from the like the, the other card that he's got there. What is it then? Um, oh, I want to say Headliners. He, he's got one of the cards like... I don't even know it's Headliners, boys. He's got a card like that, right? And the thing is... Do you see, like, millions of coins worth of difference? I highly doubt that. But we're going to review it today for you guys' viewing pleasure. Well, hopefully it's viewing pleasure. But guys, if you do enjoy, please like the video. That would be sensational. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new uh, around these parts of YouTube. And uh, get involved in the comment section below as well. Because tonight, I believe, we have the midfielders. They will be reviewed as well. Lewandowski, Lewandowski, he will be reviewed to day two before the drop of the midfielders. Now... Killing and Bappy. Hilo worked with six foot five star skills and a four star weak foot. As for the attributes, I mean, what, 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 what kind of chem styles do you put on these uh, <laughs> these team of the years, boys? Because there's not many chem styles unless you like improve the aggression, strength, stuff like that. That's gonna make even the slightest bit of difference to these cards because. Uh, let's go on the 99 shoot. Acceleration, sprint speed, 99.99. Shooting. At second position in a finishing at 99.99. And uh, he doesn't have as many as Messi. Just realized that off the bat. Stamina, 99. Reactions, 99. Dribbling, 90. Blumming, 9. But the rest of these stats, boys. He's got 93 shot power, 90 long shots, 90 volleys. Um, with his pace being capped at 99 and 99, there's no needs for, like, Hunter, Engine, nothing like that. Uh, the only one I would suggest here, looking at it, is if marksman boost balance unless you want a finisher that's only going to do a few shooting categories even though it's pretty much maxed out in uh in that category as well but you want to try and boost the balance somewhat and i know marksman does reactions so again take that what you will um is there any that does dribbling and physical off the top of my head i can't even remember i think it's actually dribbling phys that is marksman isn't it but uh, yeah, it's very interesting to see what you kind of can do with this team of the years and their chem styles. I think they're easily moldable into wherever the hell you want to play them, basically. Because stats-wise, it's, it's too good. It's simply too good. When it does come down to pass and when he drops a bit deeper in the field, which sometimes he can do, he's got 92 vision, 88 crossing for when he drifts out into the wide areas, uh, which you will see a cross, by the way, in the gameplay. And you would have seen it in the Messi review, because Messi scored it. Uh, he's got 96 short pass, 82 long pass, and 90 KF. The dribbling uh, is where it's at with this card. He's a speed dribbler. He's got 90 agility, 90 balance, 99 reactions, and dribbling with 97 uh, ball control, and 94 composure. 99 stamina at the boot as well. Uh, with 88 strength, 72 aggression. A little bit low on there, which is why I said you use like some marksman to boost that up. In terms of player traits, he's got the flair. It's good, well, apparently makes him uh, better on the ball than uh, his stats already do, but I, I think that's uh, literally impossible. This guy is amazing on the ball as it is, which I imagine every single team of the year will be. Maybe apart from Ruben Diaz. I don't see him like uh, Rabona, Rabona in and like rainbow flicking everyone. It's just, uh, just, uh, just a personal theme. But uh, outside of foot shot is... Usable with this guard. He's got a four-star weak foot, so it's not kind of pointless. Lads, we're going to jump in the gameplay, see what Kylian Mbappe has to offer. Oh, Kylian Mbappe is my best friend. You guys know that, right? Because I had a picture on his wall. Should I put that in the video? I had a picture on his wall, mate. He put it on Instagram. It's still on Instagram. My logo is in it. My, hey, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it in the video. Hey, Marshall, editing this. Put it in the video. Be Chad, last gameplay, gameplay. It's already in the video. You've seen it in the background. Last, let's get in the gameplay. The gameplay is uh, in the background. But Mbappe, honestly, he's super quick. But the thing is, like, you look at Mbappe and you think, oh yeah, he's super quick. Every single Mbappe is super quick. So what defies or defines this one differently from the other guys? Not much. Not much is the unfortunate answer. Now, of course, he's going to be cracked beyond broken, but when you get different results with this Kylian Mbappe team in the year over his previous I version, now I'm going to look up his previous I version right now. I think it was I'm pretty certain it was a headliners. 
But uh, I, I could be completely wrong, guys. I could be completely wrong. Uh, I'm just gonna go league on. You guys can't see this. I'm doing this uh, post production. He had a 93. Headliners, yeah, I'm right. But the thing is, like, he's already got max pace on this card. He's already got supreme finishing. And all those stats have been boosted, of course. But are you gonna really notice a difference? I don't believe so. And obviously the price of uh, the headliners, right, as you see in Mbappe in action, in the background, will be considerably cheaper. I think it was around 5 million or 4 million at one point. So it'll be interesting to see, yeah, he's about 4 million now, right? 4 million, which if you compare to uh, the Xbox version, bargain. But on the PlayStation, it's double the price for his team of the year. Is that with? That is what we're basically trying to find out today. But the thing is, the boost is brilliant, sensational. I just think you're not gonna notice too many major differences in game to what Kylian Mbappe normally brings you. By the way, this is a corner. Lovely block by the defender after some good dribbling by uh dribbling. Dr dribbling by Kylian Mbappe. These early mornings have got to stop, boys. I can't talk in the early mornings. But I do like waking up early. Yet more done, simple as that. Uh, Kylian Mbappe, Kylian Mbappe, what's he good at? Well, what's he bad at? If you ask me that question, it would be nothing. Kylian Mbappe is very good in this game, very good in this game, but again, you already knew that. Is he better than his previous cards? Of course, he's a lot better. The only thing, like, I'm trying to tell you guys is if you expect a better output from this guy than, say, the headliner, stuff like that, I doubt you'll see it. I doubt you'll see it. Of course, we get him on tradable happy days, uh, if, if you get him as a luxury for your club, happy days. It's just the output. Whereas, you know Lionel Messi? That Messi card is a massive boost and it feels a lot different in game. So when I'm looking at these Team of the Year cards, I want to see a major difference to their previous versions. Messi felt that major difference. Mbappe, not so much. Especially for the price increase on uh, on the PlayStation, especially 8.1 million. What's, um, what's his previous cards? Worth, right? Let's have a look at the headliners on uh, the Xbox. So on the Xbox, it's 3.4 million for his headliners. And that's a boost up to... He's went to 5.9 now? How much have I got him in this? He's went to 5... Yeah, he is literally 5.9. So that's a boost of like... 2 million? So, yeah. The PlayStation price is too escalated. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Whereas the Xbox is a little bit more feasible. A little bit more better. Of course, the headliner's card is a dynamic, but it's not going to get to a dynamic that's better than this card. Even if we got to, like, a headliner's 96 Mbappe, I doubt even if he scored five goals in a match, the level his team of the year. I highly doubt that. Um, actually, I think they won't. I just simply won't do that. But what he does offer in game, sensational pace, which he already did offer. He's already capped at 99 on the headliner's as well. Uh, the movements. For me, on this game, Mbappe is all about the movement, right? As well as the speed dribbling, but his movement is key. Because of the high-low work rates, he plays on the last man. And with 99 attack and positioning, one through ball and he's away, guys, nearly every single time. He plays on that last man, he makes late runs or early runs, and if you see him making that said run, he's him behind the defense. Here, look at him on the last man. He started making the run there when I took the shots, and that gave him a tapping. Happy days. His finishing is very good, very ample, and very... Deadly in front of goal. He's dribbling is sensational with the five star skills, four star weak foot, and sublime movements. Lads, let's get in to the summary. So, there we have it, lads. You've seen the team, you've seen what he was capable of, and you've seen Mbappe in uh, full flow, full action, whatever you want to say. Um, I'm not disappointed in the cards because he's brilliant. He is, he is generally brilliant. I mean, this Mbappe is sublime. The thing is. You see millions and like double the price on PlayStation are more sublime than headliners. Technically, statistically, yes. But the statistical increases are already what he excelled in. I, I don't know if that makes sense. It probably does, right? So what you're going to get in game out of Mbappe is pretty much exactly what you're going to get the game out of Mbappe anyways. Sensational movements, good finishing, brilliant dribbling, five-star skills, and a player that sits on the last man, like the line of defense, and makes the running behind. Otherwise, it's pretty much very similar. Obviously, other stats have been boosted to make this card even better, even better than he ever was on this game. But the outputs, I think the output would be very, very similar. And uh, you've seen the output for me as well. It's on your screen right now. Honestly, um, 
I can't see it in front of my eyes right now. I'm literally just looking at the player's stats. That's the whole power of editing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, Mbappe is very good in this game. If they come to a comparable player to these team of the years, I don't think they actually compare to anyone yet. Um, in terms of ability, his team of the years feel completely different. Uh, with Mbappe, probably like a Cruyff. And I know what you're going to see. Not R9. Cruyff has a very good dribbling 5-star, um, 5-star, five five right? Even the base Cruyff is very quick on the dribble. This Mbappe feels very similar on the dribble to Johan Cruyff. So um, I think that's where I'm at with the similar players. Cruyff. Just Cruyff and nothing but Cruyff. He does feel a little bit like an R9, but not too, too much. Uh, this guy's got better movement than R9. I will say that much. So as we do come down to the overall rating, rest assured, um, these team of the years probably will all get high ratings unless they are trashing game. And killing Mbappe is no difference. Will he get a 10 out of 10? No, he's actually not going to. He's going to get a 9.8 from myself. Um, he can be better. He can be better in certain areas. Uh, obviously, his aggression is quite low. Everything else is fine. It's just... He's a little bit underwhelming for what price he is. And I can't get over that. Is he a sensational striker? Yes, he's blooming brilliant. Will he win you games on his own? Most likely. He's killing Mbappe, the legend himself. That had a picture of me on his wall. He can do what he wants in life. But, um, well, it's not a picture of me. It's a picture of my logo, which represents me. But, uh, yeah, overall rating for myself, 9.8. Uh, not a 10 out of 10, which is surprising because Messi bagged the 10 out of 10. The value for coins then, which I've kind of been stuck on and reminiscing all morning. I I've got to the stage now where it's... What time is it? Is that 11? It's nearly 12. I've literally been all morning thinking, uh, what value for coins would I give this card? Because it varies on each console. Xbox, I don't think that's bad. I honestly don't think it's a bad price on Xbox. And that's why it kind of comes to, uh, if I was going to give separate value for coins on each console, it would be varied, you know what I'm saying? But I've kind of balanced it out between the two consoles. Uh, X uh, PlayStation, 8.1 million. Will he go higher than in the future? Most likely. I, I have no idea what the market does. Normally goes up, down, and then through the blooming roof. You know what I'm saying? So, when it does come down to price, I reckon he's better on the Xbox in terms of value. It's just the PlayStation. And it's the output thing as well. The output thing gets me, man. Will you really see? Ah, it's, it's frustrating. Uh, so, 7.4, the value for coins is what you will get. as a happy medium between the two. But if you ask me which is his better value on, Xbox or PlayStation... Xbox every day of the week. Uh, he's a little bit uh, too too much, in my personal opinion, uh, on the PlayStation right now. But again, comparable to the top tier icons, Prime R9, he's good value. <laughs> I, 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 dude, I've never said that about an 8 million coin player, but in comparable to R9, it's not that bad. Lads, in terms of the enjoyment, that's where it's at with this card. He's got enjoyment ability. I just don't know if he's got value. Enjoyment for me, 9.8, fully enjoyable cards. And uh, yeah, you'll have fun with this card. If you pack them in upgrades, you pack them in general, uh, utilize the cards, have fun and enjoy uh, your gaming sessions. But guys, that's going to be it for the review. The first one at the Lewandowski's coming up very soon. I'm going to start on that. Uh, the second, actually, I've, all, I've already got the gameplay. played it last night. I'm going to start on the second I start uploading this video. But guys, hope you have enjoyed. This was Kylian Mbappe. This was his team of the year. The midfielders are tonight. Get involved in the conversation. Comment section below. Like the video. Subscribe. Catch you in the next one. <laughs>